Welcome to the presentation on using Cloud Compare to go and import some 3D mobile scan data and then segment or separate the data based on time. So let's have a look at a got Cloud Compare open here. Uh, we'll just go and open up a data set here. So just take a minute to bring the, the data set in. Just a small data set. So here we've got our data, let's have a look. So we've got rendering options here, we can put none. We've got an EDL lighter shader here, you can see by default I think when you open up the software the EDL light dome is not on by default so if you want to have a better look at the data click that little button there and um, Everything's a lot clearer. So to filter this data, if we want to isolate some of this data based on the time it was collected, we need to first of all render the points as using scalar field, as here. And then you want to scroll down, and then you want to come to the scalar field menu, and active, we want to choose GPS time. Okay, so choose GPS time there. And then you see the next option, color scale visible. Just click the little button there, and then you've got the actual scalar bar there for the for the time. And then the last step is you come down here, and um, you can see these little circular grips at each end. This is our selection. So we're going to drag that along, and obviously it's going to gray out the points that we're selecting. And you can do that at both ends here, um, but I'll, I'll just leave it at the one end to cut the data off at the end. So, you know, you can obviously zoom in when you're doing this, so make sure you're selecting the area, you know, the, the time frame, picking up the points you want to select. And then when you're happy with that, the next step is you want to come up to the top menu here and you see the min-max icon here filter points by value, click on that, and you can see filter by value, it's using the the scale, scalar field there that we've selected, and you can see the fields automatically being filled in from our value we've selected here that's automatically filled into that field. So we then select the split option, and it's now going to physically create two separate point clouds. For that, for that data set. So the original point cloud is still there, which is there, but we've now split the data based on our scalar field using based on time. And of course the last step of, is to go and save out this, this separate point cloud. So just have it displayed on its own file, save as, just call it split, split one. You know, choose whatever format you want, I'll just leave it as a LAS. And obviously you can output the other other half as well. And if you just come and have a look, you can see here's our there's our original point cloud we imported. There's our split one, 182 megs. There's our split two, 651 megs. So that's how you um, segment or, or isolate or separate points within a point cloud, filtering it based on time using the, um, the scalar filter functions in Cloud Compare. Thank you very much for listening.